Welcome back, everyone. Expiration dates are a key to tell us about the freshness of our food, but they are confusing sometimes. To give us some help, OSF registered dietitian Ashley Sipper is here to tell us what is good and what is not good. Ashley, how are you this morning? Good. All right, let's start off with, is there a requirement for dates on food labels? Okay, so you've probably noticed there are dates on labels. Yes. And there is actually no federal law that requires that. It's all voluntary. So when you see them, you can thank the manufacturer that they're actually putting that on there because it's not a requirement. Interesting. So what are some of the common terms that we'll see on those labels? Yeah, so there's over 10 currently. It gets really confusing because as you mentioned, the word expiration, mm -hmm. these are not expiration dates. So what you're going to see are best if used by or best by. That's huh. what I saw commonly on these that I pulled from home. Yeah. I saw a sell by and then I just see a date. Okay. So the best if used by is strictly for quality. So for peak flavor and freshness, you should eat that product by that date. The sell by is strictly for the grocery stores, for inventory, to pull it when that date has gone it by. It has nothing to do with safety? Has nothing to do with safety. Huh. So there is an initiative that is being brought up through grocery manufacturers. I think Walmart's on board, but they're trying to get everyone across the board to just use two actual dates and that would be the best buy and the use buy. The best buy would be for quality but the use buy would be for safety so for perishable foods. Now that's what we want to see because mm -hmm. Who the heck knows <laughs> how good things are? Yeah, right? yeah, and that was my next question. It, right now, before they do that merger to those just two terms, is there a rule of thumb that you suggest, uh, like a blanket for all of the, uh, all of them that you could maybe like, okay, it's going to be a week past this, and then there's talk not, and that's what gets really confusing. So there's two really great resources You're I want to provide people. The there's sniff not test? the sniff test. Okay, so odor, <laughs> I would say go with your sniffer. <laughs> if you see, some, I was joking. <laughs> no, I know I'm serious. Really? So if all else fails smell it or look at it. Obviously, if there's mold growing on it, you don't want to eat it. Um, okay, let but, me write that down. But there are, there's a good resource you can, you can use to check for particular products. There's two websites. One was stilltasty.com, and the other one is foodsafety.gov. They have a food keeper app. I actually just downloaded it on my phone, so mm -hmm. it's on the web, and you can get it on your phone. And I checked a few things this morning, like people ask about milk or eggs. I always ask about sour cream. So that tells you from the time of purchase how long you can keep it or how long after it's open that you can keep it or until you need to throw it away. That's really, the, that's the one you need right there because after you, oh, you can sit on the shelf right, for years exactly. and be okay, sure. but once you open it. Once you open it, that's kind of when you want to know. And, and the sniffer is good, but you want to make sure that <laughs> be we're careful still with that now. <laughs> checking these. So, yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad you explained this because it's an ongoing battle in our house yeah. because I'm very big on if it's past the date, if it's a second past the date, we chuck it. Yeah. He's like, no, let's just keep it. Yeah, for a I'm little very while. liberal. A couple of weeks. He gets uh, a little too months. attached to the yeah. half and half. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so, I bought that mayo. I want to keep that mayo. I know. You're getting better about it, so that's good. Yeah. Well, Ashley, thank you for being here to help us separate fact from fiction yeah. and those apps very helpful. I'm going to get on it and yeah. start downloading Unfortunately, those. our time with you though has expired for this oh, segment. Oh, darn. Yeah. <laughs> he was waiting for that. <laughs> Take it away. All right, Brooke. Uh, well, first of all, you can find everything on our website, ciproud.com. And Brooke, how is it looking outside? 